Well, um, I'd like to congratulate, as we all would, Wisconsin. Uh, great team. And I'm really happy for Bo Ryan, um, for him to be able to take that next step in Wisconsin. Uh, very deserving. And we lost today to an excellent team. It wasn't as if we didn't get the job done or we played bad. That was an incredible game. Uh, very similar to the game in our Pac-12 tournament to UCLA. Thought both teams played really hard, could have gone either way. And obviously it's, it's very disappointing when it doesn't go your way. But we leave here with our head held very, very high. I told our team after the game, when I think of a team, I think of this team. This is the best team I've ever been around. Uh, we won 33 games. We won our conference. We got right to the very end. And we're one of eight, nine, ten teams that if we would have gotten to the Final Four, no question, we could have won two more. But uh, that's the greatness of the NCAA tournament, the thrill of victory. And when you lose, it's like a car crashes, you know. It's just uh, you're, you're done. But uh, I'm so proud of our team, especially these two guys right here. And uh, also uh, very much aware that today Wisconsin is an excellent team. So our congratulations to them. Frank Kaminsky uh, is the reason Wisconsin's in the Final Four. Um, if I had to do it all over again in terms of our game plan, I would do it the same way. Sam Decker was two for five. Ben Brust, who's an all Big Ten performer, we did as good of a job on him as maybe we possibly could. He's moved so well without the ball. He's two for seven. Even Trayvon Jackson, I thought a couple shots he made were just great plays by him, not against our defense, but he's four for 14. You know, Gasser's one for five, and even Hayes, who I think is a great offensive player, a hard matchup, is two for eight. One of their guys was 11 for 20. You know, he had 28 points and 11 boards. He had seven offensive boards. Late in the game, uh, I thought it gave us a shot of momentum to take Caleb out and try to switch. But, you know, he's seven foot, and he got a couple putbacks, and, you know, it's not a good feeling when you start to switch that little guy on him. But the biggest thing, you know, playing Wisconsin is you don't get a feel until you play against them how great of a passing team they are. I mean, every time that we tried to put two on the ball, I mean, they made us pay. And you know what? Very few times they missed. You know, the one more pass, sometimes guys missed. They didn't miss. I felt like every big shot they needed, uh, they really hit. But we weren't in rotation because of how we chose to play defense. Uh, we limited our rotations, which I thought was smart. But Kaminsky made some great plays. He's a difficult matchup. Uh, Got to be one of the best offensive players who, who plays uh, college basketball for sure. And we knew that. Uh, and that's why we tried to have the game plan that we had. Uh, obviously, it was almost as if he had a big night and we tried to shut everybody else down. That's really not what we wanted to do. But uh, we could not overcome the 28 points he gave us. When your basketball team is 33-5, and five, and, you know, Greg, you know because you covered us, in the history of Arizona, you have to put our team as one of the great teams that have played when you consider how consistent we've been. And that's the amazing part about our team. We were really good in November, and we were really good in March. Uh, as you climb the ladder in March, you, you play other teams like yours, and the margin for error is slimmer. We've never talked about Brandon Ashley being hurt. Brandon is a terrific player. Uh, we could have gone south or not achieved what we did, but we still were right here today. And that's a real testament to our team and, and really our coaching staff and everybody. It's not easy to deal with an injury on February 1st like that. I'm very proud of everything we accomplished. And I think, again, when you have a season like we've had, it only sets the tone for future seasons like this. Uh, you know, I, I know I'm the coach who's been the three Elite Eights, but I have been the three Elite Eights, and I'm really proud of all three of them. It's not easy to get to the Elite Eight. Uh, last time we were here in the Honda Center, we had an open three to win it. We missed. Uh, today it came down to a block charge or a last second shot, and it didn't work out. But we have to keep doing things the way we've been, and one day uh, we'll cross that, that line. I know it.